The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. <clears throat> I don't know how long I'm going to be able to move this um, show around today because I've got a terrible allergy attack that hit me about five minutes ago. I might have to take a little break in here because I'm sneezing every 30 seconds, it seems like. Anyway, I posted the chart of the Facebook yesterday. We went through that, why we were buying it. It's had a, hey, I never bought any of it, but you had a hanging man. Uh, excuse me, let's call the shooting star yesterday. Then the market gapped up. So that was a sign that, you know, it was working. That's basically all I wanted to cover there. The one that I think is most important, uh, boys and girls, guess what? We are going to take a tiny little break here because I am not going to work under these conditions if I have to. So I'm going to turn off the monitor here for just a second, and then what I'm going to do is take about a two-minute break. I'm sorry, but I've got to go and uh, take care of my sinus problem, and I'll be back in probably two minutes or less. I know the calls will keep coming in, but Al will stack them up. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. 
Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, we're back. I think I'm about 10% of normal, which is uh, about 40% better than normal. Anyway, I posted a chart here of the pound yen from our friends over in the UK. Basically, when you're looking at the GDP, it means you're long the pound, short the yen. And what we're looking at in that short yen is that three drive to a top pattern that we were looking at yesterday. So that's basically it. Uh, uh, hold on here just a minute here. We want to be moving on to one second here. Uh, I had a question by Mr. Z. I didn't quite make it. Anybody you notice here that top up here was uh, on that cross straight was 155. Uh, we're now 50 pips below that. But remember, folks, yesterday we were talking with uh, um, our good friend. Hold on once. <clears throat> <one second. clears throat> J.C. Parrots. He's, uh, he's actually a pretty, pretty smart boy. But during that segment yesterday, what I did was I posted the chart from Jim Bartolioni, who will be our guest on the 20th of uh, October. That's a week from today. He's going to be our guest. And here is what he was showing on this dollar yen. And you notice those three little pyramids there. That's a three drive to a top pattern. And we were up there yesterday. And we said, you know, be patient because it's going to get there, folks. It hit it to the exact tick. Well, it well, went a couple ticks above it. I think I can show it if I I had it here at one time. But uh, as mystery tells me, uh, we've had a uh, – it's moved anyway. But that's a big one. The thing that's important, folks – uh, is the is the dollar uh, the U.S. dollar index is now? Uh, I think it's made the top up in here. So I think it's uh, we tried to buy the euro, missed it by about 15 pips, and it's had a pretty good move. But we're up in this zone right now, and this is really important, folks. Uh, well, that's my opinion, of course. Anyway, that's uh, we're right up in that area here. So I think we're getting ready for uh, a move down, an up move in the euro. We tried buying it today. It missed us by about 100 bucks, and that's neither here nor there. The other thing that you need to pay very close attention to, folks, is what's happening in the, the precious metals markets. Give me one second, and I'll get this up here. This is the, uh, this is the silver chart. Uh, it's the weaker of the group. Uh, Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. I can. Uh, yeah. I do need a break, Al. Yeah. I sure do. Hold on. Anyway, this is the silver. Uh, we've now taken out the highs of last week. We got up. I think the last price I saw was twenty three thirty. Uh, that breaks above the three eight two. Uh, you know, the, the gold has now made, folks, believe it or not, it's made a 61% retracement of that whole move down up here at seventeen ninety four. So. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be a buyer up here in the gold. Uh, it had an incredible move today. Uh, just looking at it with the artificial intelligence. <clears throat> Hold on one second here. <clears throat> I'll get get a second here to show you what it did. And uh, but the, the number in the the key number in the gold is 17.94. If it gets above 1800, it could go a long way. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to go across the pond now and take a look at the UK market, the FTSE. As you can see, it's uh, you can draw the channel line right across the top. It's a relatively strong resistance today. However, if we take a look at the uh, German DAX, you'll notice here that it is a, a lot weaker. But uh, if you'll you know watch it because it could easily pop up to there. And if you gets if it gets up to that blue line that uh, at uh, 15,460, that's a perfect Gartley, folks, in a downtrend. And if you do trade the German DAX, that's the place to look at it. That's 15,450 is the exact ABCD structure on that. So, and as we know, uh, they don't always work, but when they do, they work relatively well. Um, Let's move on to just one other thing that I wanted to mention here before we have uh, Shane Smolian uh, as our guest, and that is this Japanese yen that we talked about yesterday that uh, Bart alerted us to. We'll get you to show you what it looks like here. Uh, we went right up to it today, folks. Uh, this was early. I mean, I haven't updated it yet because it's dropped about 50 pips from that level. We saw that on the, uh, the pound yen chart, but this is the dollar yen, and it's also starting to move. That dollar index, folks, came within one point of that exactly 382 retracement on that long-term weekly chart. Now, the problem with that is, folks, that index, uh, you know, it rotates over by month by month, and that makes it a little uh, a little suspect. So I really believe that we've made the bottom here uh, in the, uh, yeah, the euro and stuff, and I think the dollar is beginning to uh, – is beginning to start to weaken here and that would make sense because the bond the, the bonds are in there they're getting hammered uh the fed has come in there shane will discuss this at the break but the fed has come in here and put their money on the 30-year treasury bond uh it looks like as we were chatting as i was chatting with him yesterday privately so i think it's important that we pay close attention the other thing is it's not getting into the news very much but these grain markets are just absolutely getting hammered i mean they're just they're just getting beat to death 
And, uh, you know, that tells us that, you know, I think there's got to be a bottom down here somewhere. But uh, frankly, it's gone far below where I thought it was going to go. And so I just have to wait to see another pattern line up to see if it's uh, if it's going to hit or not. I really thought we were going to hold twelve dollars in January beans, but we broke below it a little bit. And now we're I think we're trading right at twelve dollars. But uh, with that report yesterday, which was not very friendly to the grains, is really something, folks. This is a perfect example of you know why the news follows the trend. Because look, those beans topped two and a half months ago, and they've been feeding us you know bullish stuff all along the way, and that makes it a little a little difficult because you, as a technician, you've got to shake that off and uh, try to look at the mar market you know objectively and, and that's the hardest part of trading folks is the mental part we've always talked about that eight inch cycle from your left ear to your right ear how important that ad is and you and you really you know, we're going to have paula on paula uh, douglas on tomorrow and one of the things that mark really drilled into me when mark douglas worked here with me for the three years that uh, that he lived here in tucson and we, we worked together daily <laughs> seven days a week <laughs> anyway uh well, the great weeks, too, by the way. Uh, every, the thing that he would really impress upon me was to, you know, do something that would anchor yourself mentally early in the morning. And one of the things that I try to do is I have a copy of uh, Trading in the Zone on my desk, and I read two pages a day of that every day. By the end of the year, I've reread the book two and a half times, so I've probably read the book 20 times. I could recite it by heart. But if you'll read that, what it does, it, it provides an anchor. And an anchor is something that puts your mental focus into, you know, into the right perspective. Those of you that have ever, I'm, I'm a big ba basketball fan with Larry Bird. You know, I, uh, when Bird and Johnson, play, Magic Johnson played during those years, uh, I never missed a, a Celtics game because we got Massachusetts Sports Network up in San Luis Obispo. So I went to every game at this little bar that they had and uh, never missed one, I don't believe, unless I was traveling. But uh, what was fun about it, was the fact that the way Larry Bird, when he got ready to shoot his free throw, he had a sequence. His 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 uh, his his uh, what he called his backing. The way that he put his uh, what was the word I wanted? He anchored the way he anchored himself. The first thing he did was he lift up his right tennis shoe and touch it, and he would lift up his left tennis shoe and touch it, then shake his shoulders a little bit, and then sink the free throws. And he shot 92 percent of his free throws during the 12 years he played in the in the NBA. Now, what they the opposing team teams would always try to distract him and one of the best one was in Atlanta they were playing the Atlanta the Atlanta Hawks and uh, he was getting ready to shoot the free throw and the people behind where he was shooting the you know the glass uh, backboard they rolled down a giant picture of a naked girl he laughed he turned around and sank the two free throws anyway it that really didn't mean anything of what uh, what's going on yeah they did they won they won night they they won in 1984. 1985 and I think 1987 on the, or 88 maybe it was 88 they won three NBA champions with him Magic Johnson won five a lot of fun you know but it changed the NBA forever uh, whether it was good or bad I don't know but uh, I, I I'm actually I was a, more of a baseball fan growing up uh, than I was anything else because we basically lived in the neighborhood of quite a few of the LA Dodgers. And my kids are still friends with some of those kids, and they're all all grown now. They're in their fifties too, and those guys have grandkids. So what's uh, what was fun? One one of my see, people are always asking me about baseball stories, and uh, there's been so many of them that I I can't really remember. One of my favorite one was the one uh, Vince Scully actually told me this at lunch one day when I was having lunch with he and Jerry West uh, up at uh, Schwab's Pharmacy up there in Pacific Palisades, and I asked him. I said, "What was your?" favorite interview he said well he said it was after the world series he said i i, I interviewed yogi Berra, and he said he he said something that made me laugh so hard i almost couldn't continue the interview i said what happened he said well he said uh, the 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 bases were loaded the dodgers had the bases are loaded and, and the whitey ford was pitching and it was in the bottom of the ninth inning and they were ahead the yankees were ahead by one run and all the you know they had to get one more out and the they hit a sharp ground ball to the first baseman, Bill Scourin, and all he had to do was to put his foot on the bag and the game is over. What Scourin did was he made a fake with his head and he turned around and he threw the ball as hard as he could to home plate and there was Yogi Berra 
waiting to make the tag as the guy came sliding in. And Ben Scully asking, say, how did you ever know, Yogi, that that guy was going to do that? And Yogi said, Benny, when you play with dummies, you got to think like dummies. And, you know, there's a lot to be said in that, folks. So remember, when you're trading, you're trading against yourself, against everybody else. So you don't want to think like a dummy and not use a stop. That's the best analogy I can get to bring that to the end of this. Anyway, we're going to have Shane Smullyan up pretty soon. But uh, let's keep in mind here, folks, if you're not using stops in these markets, it's all about money management. It's all about probability. You know what we our motto is, A, B, C, D will bring us to thee, and that's what we try to do. It's not what you lose. I mean, this way, it's not what you win. It's how much money you don't want to lose, and that's the whole key to doing what we're doing here. Shane will be our guest talking to us about the Fed and other stuff. Tomorrow, Paula Douglas will be on. I'll share a few baseball stories with him and Mark and uh, what we had with uh, Ernie Banks. Uh, during those years but uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, be right with you with Shane Smolian folks 877-927-6648 Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, it's with a great deal of pleasure that I introduce the president of the chairman of the Federal Reserve Board, Jerome Powell. 
He's using his dis- he's using his disguise as uh, Shane Smolian as the Wolf Trader today. Good morning, Mr. Powell. How are you today? I must have the wrong number. I was looking for Duke and Duke. <laughs> yeah, that's breakfast time over there. What you got for us today, pal? The Fed's rocking and rolling today. Can you see anything in the cards that helps us out? Yeah, um, I, we'll get to the charts in a little bit. I, I I did a webinar last weekend on some keys to profiting in the bear market, and I'd like to to go through those slides just a little bit. Uh, that's pretty great. Quickly. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, these are my keys now. Obviously, everybody's got their different opinions on, on what to expect in a bear market. Uh, but these are my tips here. So uh, the first tip that I have here of 12, uh, the first tip is to follow the Fed juice. And this is why we knew back in uh, July that there was an issue forming in this S&P. Uh, because the Fed had pulled back so much, they actually started the taper back into July uh, the Fed dictates the long-term movements of this market. So uh, these situations can change very fast. We've seen huge swings each way. The Fed did respond on the way down, and then we had another spike down uh, this week. Uh, so the situation changes very rapidly. But this is my number one key. Follow what the Fed is doing, and you'll be able to see these things happening uh, ahead of time. Uh, and then I would say follow the relative strength of the Fed. So what do I mean by this? Well, we want to know – is the Fed being effective? So usually the market just goes along with the Fed. But right now we're seeing a situation where the market is actually resisting the Fed. And this is something that must be taken into the big picture. So uh, it's not just enough just to follow the Fed. You've got to follow how the market is responding to the Fed. And right now the market is relatively weak. And I call that the calculus of the situation. This is the first time this has happened since 2009. So this is, a, in my view, from what I'm looking at, this is getting to, to be pretty serious now uh, with the S&P. We're seeing breakdown now after breakdown after breakdown. And I think, the Fed, Larry, I think the Fed now has abandoned the S&P and gone to the bond. And I said this right at the lows of the bond. I, I was Skyping you this. But I think that they are they made an executive decision. Somebody had to go, mm-hmm. and that's the S&P. They have to defend the bond at this point. They can't let it go any lower. So I think the resources are getting diverted to the bond. That's just my feeling on this from what I'm seeing. Tip okay. number two, um, the double lunar cycle. Th- this is huge because uh, it helps you get a forecast. So the double lunar cycle is critical to understanding forecasts. So this goes out into the future. It's not just uh, a modeling price action. It actually can forecast out a month in advance. Uh, and it gives you these very, very uh, clean uh, viewpoints of when the market could be pulling back based upon the cycle. We saw this in September when the double lunar cycle starts to pull back. So I always like to take the Fed juice and then put the double lunar cycle together. I think it really helps to to get a, a, a vision of the playing field in terms of what you're dealing with. Now, I've done a few presentations on the Astro and, and how important it is to focus on what I call the big picture, multiple uh, planets, multiple aspects. I like to look at uh, huge indexes instead of just one or two planetary indexes or retrograde period or something. Uh, so we like to look for a declining planetary speed index and a d- declining planetary acceleration index. We have both of those right now. Uh, the Venus Uranus hard aspect shows up. Larry, you talked about this with Dr. Ruth Miller, that she yep. was. Uh, she basically told you about this, correct? Yeah, she was one. She's called that the astro, the Fibonacci astro cycle, because it's uh, Venus Uranus is 0.618 of a year, and if you match up the aspects, it it hits pretty much on these aspects, you know, a great deal of the time. Yeah, I, I agree. It's 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 actually very creepy how it shows up all the time around these crashes. It's it's always there. Uh, there's maybe one or two times that I've shown since 1929 that it doesn't show up. But these are now these types of planetary transits I like because they're relevant to a crash. So when they show up around this declining speed index and the Venus Uranus shows up, and then on top of that, the Mercury station shows up, when you start to see multiple factors showing up, you start to increase your odds of uh, the market declining or that you're going to, you have the potential to have a decline. These factors all have to show up uh, going back to, like I said, 19, even before 1900, these factors do show up. Now, there is something called an event horizon. And I've talked about this before. Uh, I think everybody knows this, that once the markets hit a certain point or a certain key support level, 
uh, if they break that, the market tends to collapse. And so an event horizon uh, in a black hole is a point to where you get around the black hole and you can't come back. Uh, not even light can escape. So if you get past this event horizon, uh, you tend to have these waterfalls. Now, I think the Fed saw this uh, when we got to that 4,300 level. The Fed came in and responded very strongly, uh, and they did pause us from going through that. You can see here on this chart, this was the Fed responding here uh, after that first decline. They kept us off the lows, uh, but I don't know if they're going to be able to keep us off the lows again. Uh, the market is getting weaker and weaker as we go. So there is a point, and that's what I, I try to tell everybody. Like it, it, These bear markets can happen very quickly. Once you hit the point of no return, the, the panic selling comes in, and you can get these severe dislocations. Uh, the next tip here is to, uh, the Fed The Fed interventions, they can and will stop these straight paths down. So uh, this was the uh, recent activity of the Fed that I showed you that stopped that decline. Uh, on that 4,300 level, they were actually able to come in three separate times and stop it from this event horizon. So what I tell people is you can expect delays and pauses in the selling when you have the Fed coming in. So this is more like game theory. You have to kind of figure out when will the Fed come in? Is the market responding to the Fed? It's not just so simple anymore like we used to have before 2008 where we can just have Hey, here's the the astro. Here's the 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 support levels. Here's you know all of this stuff going on. Now you have to deal with this, and so I try to tell people this: you got to be patient because they will try to frustrate any short sellers that come in on this market. Uh, so it, this is a real thing, and so this is why I tell people to try to figure it out. And I think ultimately uh, they will win in the end. I mean, they're going to do something crazy if the market really goes down. But in the short term, they may not be able to. They may not be able to stop it. They may need to focus on the bond. Uh, so this is just something that's there. It's a reality. And I just want people to know that that's there. You're not going crazy. It's there. Uh, this is a real force that comes in, uh, and it does pause the selling. But again, it may not stop the ultimate outcome here. Tip number six, uh, flash crashes are a thing. Uh, this is this is real now. This is something we didn't have to deal with before 2008. This was the 2010 flash crash here. Uh, so the problem is that stops may hit and, and not trigger. Uh, the market can move so fast you may not be able to react. Uh, it, it can create chaos. Uh, in 2010, what happened was the smart there was these these market maker computers and the high speed algorithmic trading. The smart computers shut off their computers. Uh, so there is essentially no market. And the market flashed down and, you know, huge companies, Procter & Gamble, all these companies were trading at pennies. And the not so smart high speed computers kept trading. Uh, so, you know, somebody asked me, they said, well, don't you think the computers have gotten smarter since 2010? Yes, they have. It's been 11 years. But if they shut off the computers, it doesn't matter how smart they are. If those, those computers shut off and there's no market, the market will disappear. Uh, so that's wow. that's the problem right now that I see. So I tell people, look, this is a thing. Gold has experienced a few of these this year already. And so we got to be careful with it. Wow. Hey, stay with us, my friend. Shane Smolian, folks, wolftrader.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paper Bytes investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. A prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, hey, we're back, folks. We're chatting with Shane Smolian, and TheWolfTrader.com. Would you like to continue, young Sure. Man? Larry, did you realize that today is a very important day? Do you know what just happened this morning? Captain uh, Kirk went, went, went to yes, outer space. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, he, he really did. Yeah, he didn't take Spock with him, but he uh, no. he, he made it pretty good. He did. He did. So yeah. that, was, that was pretty good. You know, I had, I don't, I've told you this many times, but, you know, Gene Roddenberry was my, one of my customers at Drexel, but I never met William Shatner. Uh, he wasn't one of my customers at all. And I only met, I only met uh, Robin about, oh, boy, she was maybe three times in those six years, but uh, never did meet Captain Kirk. Wow. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yep. Tip number seven, I would just tell people, avoiding the noise, you need to focus on what's happening. Uh, bear markets have their own rules. Everything's changing right now. Uh, the, and dying bulls get very aggressive. So, you know, they every time there's a bounce, they, they get very upset. And, you know, we should, you know, this, this is ridiculous. It's going to go higher. Uh, you should be buying the bounce. Uh, they've been trained for years to be entitled to these easy gains. It's been pretty easy to make money with the Fed with just a lot of these index funds. And like I said, they've been trained by the dips. But now we're entering the bargaining period where they're looking for value plays or they're going to defensive stocks. So be careful about this. Uh, I, I would just say be cautious because, uh, the you know, the bulls want to, to obviously keep the show going here. So that's just something to pay attention to. Uh, and also, there's a lot of people that haven't experienced a bear market. So a lot of these younger traders don't even know. So just just pay attention to that. Now, this is a, a few slides here that I would, these are the most important slides. But the number one is, I would say avoid the big short mentality. A lot of people have these fantasies about trying to get a big, a big short like in the movie. That's not going to happen anymore because the Fed comes in and stalls the selling stalls the selling stalls. so you get these piecemeal declines so be careful about that i don't think those i think those days are kind of gone i think that if we do get a decline here the fed's going to keep coming in and keep doing crazier stuff the next slide here that i would tell people is uh when you're in uh, risky conditions you know when you sail a boat you use less sails you sail with a small sail uh so i, I would say if you're expecting a big market a volatile market you trade with smaller size you don't need to trade with the same size you normally trade with uh, and that helps you reduce the risk and keep a clear mind you can handle the swings uh, the, I think the mentality of a lot of people is to go all in like in Ocean's 11 you know Danny Ocean's like you know when you have the advantage over the casino you go all in I don't think that's a good way to do it I think it's better to be small if you are gonna get these big 500 point swings 
then small positions will do just fine. And a lot of the market wizards, if you listen to, if you ever read those books, they all trade small positions in high volatility. So that's one thing. Another thing I would say is try not to create a self man made time constraint. So, like if you're doing um, options, don't try to do when it's two weeks out or a month out because you don't really know when it's going to go down. The market will go down when it goes down. Or if you go all in and then you got a margin call and you know, you know, if you're not using, you get a margin call, and then now you have to get out, and the market could still decline. So you know, these are things just to think about, and that's why I think trading with a smaller position size is smarter. Uh, my final tip here is don't. This is the final tip, and I'm I'm kind of running through these. There's a there's a YouTube online about this in detail, but don't ever est underestimate the Fed in a severe decline, because you know in the short term they may fail. Uh, we may go down here. But they're going to come up with something crazy. And I don't know if anybody remembers this, but back during COVID, they were talking about buying stocks and ETFs. They That was on CNBC. There's articles about it. So if we do go way down, they will come in and do something crazy. So just keep that in mind, guys, that the Fed doesn't go away just because they lose a few battles. Okay, so those are the, the tips. So let's look at what's going on with the current S&P right now. So I'm going to talk about some peripheral markets right now some other markets around that i think are acting very interesting here uh first of all is the dollar uh today the do you know this is our this is in our uh, currency service but uh we caught a lot of this big move up in the dollar today I, I did have it in a double sell today uh and it did have that pullback today but this is something we need to watch here because if the dollar continues to get strong it could really put some pressure on the s p but in the short term uh, we are seeing a run to gold and bond, the bond. Uh, so this is the gold miners. This is a, a market that we follow in the stock ETF service. Uh, this has been long since 10.6, uh, so it's been catching this big move up. I think this represents <clears throat> what we call the orthodox fear model, which is the gold and the bond. Uh, we hadn't seen that in a while, but I think we're starting to see it now where people are going to gold, people are going to the bonds. So... Uh, the Fed juice has been in a persistent buy on this, on the gold miners, and we've caught a lot of this move up. So I just think it's important to pay attention to kind of where the money is going. It's going into gold. It's going into uh, the bond, and so this is important. We also had a, a trade this morning on the, the – we have the fast Fed, the big runs, we call this. It's meant to catch the big runs. That also caught this big gold run up here this morning. So I think you know we need to listen to what the market is telling us. And the market is telling us that um, the money's starting to go to gold in the bond. Now, let's talk about the bond here. Uh, this is the pink chart here that you see. That's the bond. So uh, two days ago, when the bond was going down, I was watching the behavior start to shift with the Fed. And I told my subscribers, I said, I think the bond is – the Fed is ready to be shifting their focus over to the bond. In, a, in other words, they can't do everything, right? So I, I, I felt like we were coming into some type of a low into here. And this Fed juice has been in this buy since October the 5th. Uh, and even on this decline, it was very, very persistently strong into this buy pattern into here. So I felt like at this point, look, the Fed is long the bond. I mean, they, they've, they've got a ton of long bonds on their balance sheet. They, they can't let the market go down. It's, it, this is like catastrophic if the bond market goes down for the Fed. So I just think that at this point, uh, this is going to be the focus, and I and and I think also, you're seeing the open interest starting to come up in in both the gold and and the bonds. So it's not just the Fed here too. But I I felt when that hit that low there, I I felt very strongly that hey look, they're they're going to divert resources now. They're, they're, sorry S and P, but this is this is the focus now. This is this is what it is. This is what has to hold up. Okay. So uh, and I and I talked about that on Monday. Now, here's the S and P. Here's our big picture here. So on July the 6th, this goes into the cell. This is where the bear market starts here, based off of my calculations here. Uh, we had this big run down here. Now notice, the Fed does respond. You can see them coming up here on this market. And they did a good job of stopping that selling. I showed that to you in the charts. Uh, they, they came in uh, very clearly. I mean, they were, and by the way, this is the fastest I've ever seen them respond. I mean, this, this spike from here to here is the fastest, uh, I've ever seen the fed come in and now notice they started this as the market's falling. They were able to pause the selling here. They got a little bit of a rally here. 
Uh, but we're forming some type of a technical wedge here. Now, I don't know if this is going to continue, uh, but uh, it, it's it's definitely not a bullish outlook right now. And the Fed juice plummets here. You can see it plummets here uh, on Monday, which was a banking holiday, right? There's no Fed on the, the banking holiday, right? There's no the banks are closed, right? So there's no Fed juice. So the so market starts falling out, falling after that. We're going to take a little break, folks. We'll be back with the Wolf Trader himself, Shane Smolian, 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, we're back with the Wolf Trader himself, Shane Smolian. You want to finish up, my friends? Tell the folks sure. how they can reach you and some of the services that you have. Sure, absolutely. Well, if you want to reach me, uh, you can reach me at Shane at WolfTraderFutures.com. Uh, the website is www.wolftraderfutures.com. All of our services have a seven-day free trial. I recommend everybody just try it out for seven days if you're interested. There's no risk. Check it out. We have multiple newsletters. We have like six, seven different newsletters, different services. Uh, there's a YouTube channel, Wolf Trader Futures, and then there's a Twitter you should go to, at WolfTraderFUTU1, and that's a way to keep in touch with what's going on uh, with the services. So that's how you can reach me. And I did want to get to oh. one more slide, if that's okay with you. Sure, just to, take to your show time. You we got two minutes. Go ahead. Okay. Um, so, oh, by the way, FedJuice.com is also available. That's we have that domain too. Okay, I want to look at Apple because I, you know, this is we this is for the stock ETF service that we have. I really think Apple's important to pay attention to because this is a bellwether tech stock. 
Uh, techs, typically, techs typically tend to lead down in the bear markets. Notice this was bouncing around here, and then all of a sudden on 9-1, uh, this goes into a sell, uh, and it doesn't – look, we had this multiple tops here. We had one, two, uh, three, four of these tops into here. It looked like it was breaking out, uh, and then all of a sudden we get this sell pattern, and it just stays into the sell. It's been in this persistent sell since 9-1. Uh, and so I think when you put these clues together, you put the gold in the picture, you put the bond in the picture, you look at the Fed use on this, you look at the tech sector. I think everything's in place right now uh, for this market to continue to have issues. Now, how far it goes and all of this with the Fed, you know, that's that's the difficulty. That's what makes this difficult. And that's why we're always focusing on the Fed. But uh, I'm trying to give everybody a big picture here to show you that, hey, look, you know, there's a lot of things wrong here with the market right now and things could get worse. So just try to protect your assets. I tell people that, the one, you know, some people may not want to short. That's fine. Uh, you know, but just try to protect your assets and, and because these bear markets can come quickly and, and, and you may not be able to react in time. And so that's the main thing that I try to tell people. Just look, there's nothing wrong with going to cash or just being a, li a little more conservative. So, Shane, thank you, my friend. We'll have you on in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Larry. Take care, everybody. You Have bet. a great day. WolfTrader.com, folks. See you on the flip side tomorrow. May God bless.